Hi everyone, this is Michelle Litwiller with Owl Star Stampers. Um, we're going to try this again. <laughs> so I was live for a few minutes, just getting ready to go over some important updates and the internet stopped. That's the great thing with the internet. So here I am again and hopefully we will not have any problems. <laughs> I was just getting ready to... Uh, um, to share some stuff with you. Okay, I am trying to figure out if I'm live again. All right, so, all right, here we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> and hopefully my internet, I don't know what happened with the internet, but it just like stopped out. So it is, <laughs> I'll say this again in case, um, people watching the replay, it is Thursday, September 8th, and I'm doing our virtual class. So you can get the make and takes for free with an online order using the host code. Okay, so $35, you'll get the envelopes like this, and you can make the make and takes uh, with any $35 order using that code. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you're going to get a thank you gift from me also, which are the champagne rhinestones, a full package. We're going to be using those on our cards. Again, if your order goes over $150, do not use the host code. Still select me, and then you're going to get something even extra too, some vellum, because we're make, using some vellum and making a cool vellum card today. Okay, I was going in a few updates before it interrupted, and I'm not sure if this started a new video or it's it's going to connect it. I don't know how technology works. So what I was going to share with you is that on the 10th, you have two days um, if you want to join the card club. And one of the, in the stamp set I'm featuring this month is the Cottage Rose. And I picked this because it was really pretty. I love the fonts and it's floral. Um, you might have something similar, floral and pretty words. You can substitute it this month or you um, can order this to use. Now this comes in a bundle. However, I only use the stamp set on the card club. I, I fussy cut the one flower out, but there is a bundle if you um, love the bundles and love to get them. We're gonna be using this set though today also, so you're gonna see a bonus card today. Um, but let me show you a sneak peek of the card club. I do have openings if you wanna join. You get a bunch of products every month. If you're in it for six consecutive months, you get a swag bag. Um, but anyway, here's some really pretty cards. You make two of each of these cards. And I love um, these because these are kind of, this is a fun fold um, one here. These are um, just all occasion cards, like a, a get well card, you are the greatest, a friend card, and a best wishes. So you could use this for an anniversary or a wedding or any to wish anybody well. So these are some really elegant, really pretty cards for the card club this month. And you have until the 10th, you can join. You can also take it as a one-time class if you don't want to uh, commit to that. But that is using the Cottage Rose. If you're in the club, you should have got an email if you want to add this on, or you can place your own online order and get this as well. Again, I only use this stamp set. However, if you want the bundle, there is a bundle available. All right, now, the next thing we're going to be using today is the Soft Seedling stamp set. And then we're going to be using a um, bundle that is um, using the Birthday Piggy. So this is a stamp set in our annual catalog, but this month Stampin' Up! came out with some coordinating dies. And so I have them here. And it's called the Perfect Partners. And we have um, six bundles that are stamp sets that they came out with dies with. So maybe you already have the stamp set. You can now purchase the coordinating dies. Or if you didn't, you can get the bundle with the stamp set and dies for 10% off. This is only good or valid September 1st through the 30th um, and while supplies last. So if you see something you really want, I try to tell you do not hesitate because we never know how long dies will fly off the shelf. So we're gonna be using the piggy one today, and there is one for the apple blossoms. There is, here's like the little piggy. There's one with the 
Christmas tree. So we use this trimming, um, the tree stamp set in our last retreat. So if you ordered that, you got the stamp set, you might wanna pick up the coordinating dies. Um, so again, the dies are 34 for that or the bundled prices down here. And then we have the waterfall canyon bundle and then the Yeti to party. So the, that cute little Yeti set has uh, some dies and or a bundle too. So you can see these on the website. There's also a brand new Christmas kit that was released yesterday. There's, oh, specials of the week. So every week they have, they're coming out with some products that are on sale. So um, you can add those onto your order too. So like I said, a lot going on, um, a lot going on this month. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you. But we're gonna get into stamping right now. And we're gonna make these, I have three really nice cards to share with you today. And we'll do a little catching up as we go along. Okay, so our first card, we're going to be using this stamp set right here. This is in our mini catalog. It's $20 and this is a really beautiful stamp set. Um, I believe I'm, I'm using this for my team meeting this Sunday. I made four cards with this set and it's just really, really beautiful. So this card is inspired by one that my friend Rhonda made and it was so cool. I had to recreate it and she made it using the card base in vellum. Have you ever made a card out of vellum? I have not. I have seen them made, but I have not made it. So this is just our vellum cardstock. Again, if you do place your own like $150 order, I'm gonna give you um, a half a pack of some vellum too. It comes like this. You get 20 sheets in it in a package and it's eight and a half by 11. So I just cut it in half like our normal, like you would a normal card. And then we're going to fold it in half. So this is gonna create just a really pretty fall thinking of you card. So I'm gonna take my bone folder and just give this a really nice crease. And then this is our card base. So a, we have a vellum card here. All right, then you're gonna have two pieces of very vanilla in your packet. If you get the make and takes, you can get the make and takes for free again with a $35, minimum $35 order with that code. Again, if it's 50, you're gonna get these beautiful um, champagne rhinestones as well. So we have two pieces of this and they measure five inches by three and three quarter. Now, if you want the tutorial for all three cards, anybody can get the tutorial. You just have to be on my email list. And that will go out in, um, actually, so my husband's out of town, so it might not go out until like Saturday morning, um, but everyone will get the free tutorial for these projects. So I did wanna share that. I just need a scrap piece of paper here. So this is just some, grid paper and we are going to do some stamping. So I'm going to be using this like maple leaf, I believe that's maple leaf, uh, right here. And we're going to, I'm going to be using the thinking of you. Again, I've used, I've used every single stamp in the stamp set. It's a really great one and it has, I love that it has some really pretty words. So grateful, thinking of you, for you and hello. So we're gonna take this block here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my ink colors out. And we're gonna use pumpkin pie, Cajun craze, and mossy meadow. So we're gonna use these three colors here, some nice fall colors. And we're gonna stamp on this sheet right here. So the first one I'm gonna do is the mossy meadow it's like a green uh, not a bright green and we're gonna ink up this whole image and I'm going to stamp it kind of like sorry can you see what I'm doing I'm going to um, miss or stamp right kind of like here okay my ink pad needs to be re-inked. It's getting a little dried out, or I didn't press as hard as I could have either. Probably a little bit of both. Okay, so there's that. Then you're gonna have a little a strip in your kit. This is very vanilla, and we are going to want to stamp the sentiment, and I'm just doing it in the mossy metal also. 
and I'm going to stamp it more towards the right side. So I'm just lining this up so it's straight on here. And then I'm going to stamp that. I love this font. It's so pretty. See that thinking of you? Okay, so we're done with the green. Now what we're going to do is um, clean, off our, uh, clean off our stamp, which we did, and I'm going to stamp it in um, pumpkin pie. So now I just want only the leaf part, really. So I'm just going to ink up that part of it, or try to. And I'm going to... Um, do the top here like so okay and then you will have a scrap in your kit um, and we're gonna stamp this leaf another time and it's going to come over here like that all right we're done with the pumpkin pie now we're going to do our last color, which is the Cajun Craze, which is kind of like that rust color. We're going to cut out part of that leaf, but we're going to come back to that. So I'm going to move this over, close this up, and do the Cajun Craze. Uh, Val, at the beginning I had a technical difficulty. My video just stopped altogether. I'm not sure what that was about, but we're back now. So hopefully, I haven't had that happen in a long time. Okay, so you can see I just am mostly inking up the leaf part. I'm going to turn this sideways and I'm going to stamp this down here in this corner like that. And then I'm going to stamp it up here, the same color. Um, I don't know about you guys, I love fall. I love, we, I live in Michigan, so we do get the changing leaves cooler temps. I just, the only thing I don't like is that it goes by so fast, <laughs> like so fast is the only thing. Now this is going to go on the inside and I want to add a little leaf on the inside as well. So I'm just going to ink this up again and I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Kind of like that. All right. So there we go. We're done with all of our stamping. So now we're just going to assemble this card and it should go together very quickly. But again, this set is amazing. Very beautiful stamp set. Okay, I'm going to close this up and we're going to put all of the pieces together. Make sure I don't have anything on my fingers. It's going to mess this up. Again, we have a vellum card base. Now, the thing with vellum is... It is see-through and so what I did is I just used my seal and you can kind of see it but it's not like super noticeable now our sentiment I'm just gonna add a strip of glue and then it's going to go across it's gonna I basically want to hide these little seed things um, I'm just gonna cover those or some of those up anyway that's just gonna go across there so this just measures like the same, it's the same width of this. So then you're gonna take some paper snips. Where did I hide mine? Right here. And you're going to kind of cut out this leaf, just hand cut it out. There's not a set of dies for this, but it only, it's not very hard to cut it out. Or if you wanted, you can take any leaf die that you have and cut out a die too. Like you could totally do that, but I, like how this looks stamped so I'm just gonna quickly fussy cut this out um, again you'll have a scrap piece of vanilla to do the same in your kit with your make and takes what we're gonna do is trim it down though in just a second but this is how I did it the first thing I did was just kind of cut it out and this card would be beautiful in so many different colors you could do like some reds or gold and yellow, um, maybe some deep purples. Um, there's so many, the possibilities are endless. All right, so I almost have my leaf done. 
and I was gonna say this stamp set it looks like it's like distinctive but I don't know if it is it just stamps so beautiful though that's what I do know okay so we have our leaf that's kind of like this actually um, it's kind of like a little variegated color like if you look at it here it's darker at the tip and it fades down that is already ingrained in the stamp so it just naturally stamps like that when you ink it up that's how it's supposed to look so that's what I was talking about it looks like it looks pretty cool okay so this leaf I want to pop it up and it's going to be going off of my card so I'm gonna trim it down so um, what I'm gonna do is add some dimensionals first here to my leaf okay pull the dimensionals off and then I'm going to add this onto the side um, or I actually had it coming down now that I look at my sample I'm like how did I have this I had it like this that internet threw me off okay now I need another dimensional over here. I'm just tucking another dimensional behind here as well. Okay, so there we go. So there's our leaf, but it's going off the edge, right? So I'm just gonna flip this over and take my snips, my paper snips, and cut that off. So it looks like that. So this is gonna be the front of our card. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take my seal. This is just a regular seal. I'm gonna go along all of the edges. If you wanted, you could just put a mini glue dot, like three along the top and three along the bottom. I did this, so there's glue all around. Then I have my vellum card, and I'm going to stick this down right in the center like so. Isn't that so pretty? Now when you open it up, you can't really see any of that glue. Like it's there, but it's, it's kind of hidden. So now we want something to write on. So here comes this piece. We're gonna add this right on the inside. This is just a very, very elegant card. And again, when my, um, I saw this, I was like, I have got to make this card. So I want it to line up perfectly. So what I did is I opened this up because these measure the same. I put it right over where the front piece is Okay, just make sure it's in the same spot and then you just will close it. It moved a little. Okay, make sure it's in the same spot. And then when you close it, it will line up perfectly like that. So there you have it. There's your card. Now we're not done yet. We're gonna take, you'll have a little piece of linen thread in your kit and we're, I already made a bow. We're gonna add the bow to the leaf. You'll just wanna add a little mini glue dot and then of course champagne rhinestone so again anyone that gets your $50 order you'll get your full package of these um I've been using a lot of these lately I have my take your pick tool so I guess I'll use that um so I'm going to put one and then two and three and if you guys are in my team watching this is one of the make and takes for Sunday but it is gorgeous so there is a beautiful fall card and the inside there and um there is the kit so all right marcia um if you place an order with my host code that i put up for you can get a card kit that way um, for these, for the virtual class, I think, is that what you're asking? Um, all right. So this is our first make and take for today. Let me know what you think of that. Here is my other card. So you can kind of see they're pretty close to the same. All right. Our next card that we're going to make is going to be featuring, um, this stamp set for the card club. So again, I showed you the card club samples. They're really gorgeous cards. You can um, join, you have two more days to join if you're not already in the club. And we have 130 people. 
So we would love to have you. Okay, here's our next packet. So this one we're going to use, I want to give you another idea for how to use your cottage rose bundle. Now, another thing that Stampin' Up! has going on, I can hardly keep track myself, is they are having on October 1st a world card making day. And they're featuring three different bundles that day. This is one of the bundles. So if you order this, you will get a free pack of iridescent uh, pearls, I believe, for ordering this bundle as well. So I just want to point that out. I had no idea when I picked this bundle, but <laughs> that um, they're doing that as well. This is just a thick weight card base. So I'm just going to fold that. And then I have um, these pieces here. So you'll get a piece of this uh, petal pink ribbon. If you're in the card club, you're going to get a full bowl to this in your kit this month. So um, you'll have that. And then we're using this paper that is also featured in the card club this month. So several of you will get a half a pack, but you might not want more. It's the Abigail Rose Designer Series paper. It's 12 by 12 and it is just a really, really pretty set of paper. So one of the things that is really cool about this paper is if you did get the dies, which again, I didn't use them in the uh, club, but this piece of paper right here, there's this die. Okay, here's the set of dies. This will line up perfectly on this paper and cut all of that out. Do you see that? So you can um, cut out so many of these with your paper. That's pretty cool. And then um, this one will cut out this image. This will also cut out that flower right there. And, um, and then those little three down there, I believe. And then the leaf, it'll cut the leaf out. And then you have these other intricate pieces too in the die bundle. Okay, I'm, again, I'm not, I'm going to use this one and just cut it out. But I just wanted to show you that because this is pretty um, versatile. I also plan to do another video with some more cards from here because, like, look at this paper here. So this piece of paper, you could just hand cut this out and use it on black and vanilla, or you could color these flowers in. Now the die does not coordinate with this. It, this is a little bit too big, but you could do some really cool things with just the paper alone also. So I just wanted to point that out to you. I just fell in love with this paper and I had to share it and showcase it this month. Okay, so back to this. We have this piece of cardstock, it's from there. And then Sahara Sand, and we're just going to layer these together. We also are using another piece of vellum, and I have a little banner here from the stylist shape. So your shape will be cut for you, or your little banner. So the first thing we're going to do is just layer the cardstock together, and the cardstock with the designer paper. There's also another piece of designer paper in the in that kit that looks very similar. So you could get uh, one of two different pieces anyway. Let me look at my sample because I got to remember how I did this. All right, then this piece we're going to pop up with some dimensionals. I just made this card about an hour ago, but I already need the sample so I can put it together correctly. So there's this. This goes on here like so. Then what we're going to do is you'll get a scrap piece of white. It might not be this big. This is just what I had on my table. And you're going to want early espresso ink. Now, the cool thing, again, with this card club is you could technically use any floral images and any words that you want. Um, but the stamp set alone, I think the stamp set is $23. Um, and so it's very pretty. All right, I've been using um, the Feel Better Real Soon a lot, which we're using today, and then the You Are Positively the Greatest. 
but I love the best wishes. It's going to be fab. Happy birthday and friends forever. So just a really great set. Okay, so we're taking this image and we're going to just stamp it on a scrap of white like that. And then we're gonna take our little banner here and we're going to stamp, I'm stamping the Feel Better Real Soon and also in Early Espresso. This is just our darkest brown that we have. Um, and I'm going to try to center this and do it straight. Okay, did a pretty good job. Sometimes it could be questionable. All right, there's that. And now we're just going to do a little bit of coloring. So here's what this image looks like stamped. Now I have two sets of blends. And if you are already in the card club, I gave you the option, I sent out an email if you wanted to add on the stamp set only or the bundle. Of course, you can order it yourself. Maybe you already own it or you wanna use something else. You can totally do that. And then I also gave you the option to add on Petal Pink and Soft Seafoam blends because that's what I use to color in some of these um, flowers anyway. So I stuck with a color scheme for this as well. So I'm gonna take the light petal pink and just color in these petals. And because it's kind of big, I can kind of just, I don't wanna say scribble, but color quickly. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna use the dark to put in a few highlights, I guess is what they're called. Maybe that's not, that's what I'm calling it. So we're just coloring this in. All right, and then, then this is also another card idea you can create. You can even change out the papers. Um, all right, so I did a light coat of the petal pink. Then what I'm gonna do is go in with the dark petal pink, because remember these come in a set for $9, a light and a dark. So I'm gonna take the dark, and where these lines, the brown lines are, I'm just going to go over it with the dark once or twice just to make that uh, pop out a little bit, stand out a little bit more. And that's going to make me look kind of like I know how to color really cool, but I probably don't. So kind of where Stampin' Up! has the little details, that's where I tend to go over to do that part and I'll lift it up in just a second and show you and you can go over once or twice but I think I'm about good so now let me show it to you do you see that now that looks so pretty okay then I'm going to take my soft sea foam again you can use whatever colors you like I just wanted some really soft colors um, for these cards and so, like I said, I just carried it over here. So I have this for the leaf. Leaves. Our colors are starting to change already. What usually happens is we will get a really bad storm or rain, and then, like, they all fall off or get blown away and, like, so quick. And I'm like, no, leave the leaves. They're so pretty. All right, so there is that. Now the other thing you could do is you could take some Wink Costella and go over it as well if you wanted. I didn't grab mine. So I'm gonna take, I am gonna take my die and I'm gonna die cut this out. So I did not do, I used this stamp on one of the other cards but I just stamped it flat. But today I am going to cut it out with the die. So I have my mini stamp emboss cut machine right here. This little baby is so cute and handy for my desk. Uh, so it will die cut and emboss a lot of it. A lot of our items, but not all of them. Okay, I got this. I'm going to run this through. Oh, I also have, if you ordered the driving by or the special moments class, those are being shipped out. I have a few left, not many, 
So if you want one, grab one. They are really awesome classes that come with tons of product. Um, I can show you at the end that. Okay, we have our flower here. It's gonna go on the vellum over to the side like this. So because I don't wanna just like slather glue all over the vellum, cause it will show through, I know my flower is gonna go over here. So um, I'm going to add some glue over here where I know it's gonna be hidden behind here. And this glue is strong enough that it's not gonna go anywhere. And I'm just going to kind of center that onto my card. This just makes the card look a little bit softer and more elegant, I think. Then I'm gonna take my strip of ribbon and this is gonna go across here and you can use mini glue dots to like secure that um, or whatever glue you like. I like glue dots. On my other card, I just use my adhesive though and it's, it's sticking. Um, I think I need to trim this, it's a little bit too long. All right, so I'm going to make sure this is straight. I feel like everything's a little bit crooked lately. And that's me. Okay, attach her pretty ribbon. This ribbon is super soft. And I do want it a little bit shorter, so I'm just going to trim the ends on an angle like so. And then we're going to take our floral image and use some more dimensionals. Thank you for sharing, Elizabeth. All right, here is this. And we're going to put this on right here, like so. And then we're going to take our sentiment and also put a few, one or two dimensionals on. And this is gonna come over here like so. And then grab your champagne rhinestones. Again, your free gift with any order over 50. And we're going to add um, a couple of these on here. These just set the card off and make it so pretty. In the card club, you're getting pearls, but there is the card. It's just so pretty. And you could make this whatever you want. You could stamp anything on there. Here's the other one I did too. So you can see them both and how pretty they are. So there is our second card. Let me know what you think of that one. Remember our first one we did, the fall with the vellum card. This is a vellum card, how cool. And then we have, this is a thinking of you and this is a feel better real soon. All right, now we have one more card we're going to create. And I'm gonna do it in a different version um, than Maybe doing a different version than the one I already have made up. But this is using the birthday piggy. And again, you can get the bundle um, here for $48.50. Or if you already have the stamp set, you can get the dies only. Oh, this is what I um, wanted to share. I actually bought an extra of this stamp set. It is actually right here never been used and I would love to give this away to one of you that is watching. So how you can um, go in for a drawing is this is by sharing this video to your personal page and leaving me a comment and then if you want an additional entry you can go over to my YouTube channel and leave a comment uh, the birthday piggy so I know um, that that's what your comment is for. So this will be loaded on YouTube um, later and then I will give this away. So this is a brand new stamp set. You will just want to probably buy the dies um, if you win this. So I have this to give away. So this, I have a question. So what die cut machine is this? This is our mini die cut machine. Um, it's just a little tiny one. It's $60 and we have the big one that will do everything. So if you need one machine, 
get the big one for like 120. If you're an avid crafter, um, the mini one is awesome to have on my desk. It doesn't take up a lot of room and I use it all the time. So um, that's what this is. It's just our little mini, mini one. It's really handy and portable. Okay, so now that things are falling all over the floor, um, this is the stamp set we're using today for our last card. And here are some of the pieces that you will get in your kit. Again, you will get an envelope with all the pieces in there. You just need your own stamps and ink or something you can, you know, substitute. So, um, here's what the set of dies look like with this cute little piggy. They come like this. And there is a little banner in there that we're going to use today. See, I got the banner right here. And we will die cut the banner for you. Um, there, it will cut out like all the different three pigs. There's grass and there's a little bandana. There's a wagon, which is so cute. Little flowers and leaves and bows and confetti and a little bird. Some extra wheels, the little pole thing. Um, and you can make like presents and stuff. So this is a banner, an, a different type of banner. So this is just a really cute set. And I did a video on a Halloween card, but I did a version of this little pig. And so you'll see like some of the die cuts on here with this cute little pig here. So anyway, but this is what I wanted to create. So we are going to use our white cardstock and then I have um, petal pink that I embossed. Now yours won't have a heart cut out of it. I will cut your heart out separately but I was in a hurry and I um, cut out my little heart which your heart will be in your kit and then um, I just embossed this. This is going to be covered up with paper anyway but um, this is embossed with the one of the wood, I can't think of it, the wood. We've had it for a while. You can emboss it with whatever you want. You will need to do your own embossing. Okay, I'm going to layer this down flat to my card. Okay, and um, again, if you want the free tutorial, anyone can get it. You just have to be on my email list. So um, there's that. And if you want to win the stamp set, share it, comment, and then if you want another entry, go over to YouTube and when, once it's posted. Okay, this piece of designer paper is three by three and this comes from our hostess set in our annual catalog. So if you look in the back of our catalog and you ever place an order over $150, you get, um, actually they're called Stampin' Rewards. I misspoke, they used to be called Host Rewards. They're now called Stampin' Rewards. And this is one of the things you can pick. Now we have another pack of paper just as thick in the mini catalog that's like a celebration pack that's awesome. But this is the one from the annual catalog and it just has like 48. This thing is huge and they're 12 by 12 sheets so you get a ton of this. So this is the host um, designer series paper design a daydream is what it's called so you can't purchase this but if you place a high enough order you can get a full packages and look at my nails almost are the same color as that flower okay so that's where this paper come from I'm actually going to I'm not going to stick it down yet we're going to stamp um, a few things uh, first so I have in my little bin here these and this and then you're gonna need you're gonna get a little piece of twine for this one too I just I didn't make the bow for this one yet. so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to stamp um, this little this piggy right here that's in the with the flowers and it looks like they're in mud dirt I'm going to stamp it towards the bottom of this circle. Now this circle is also from the Stylish Shapes, one of my favorites. I can't stop using them. <laughs> They're just really fun. Okay, then we're going to, um, we're going to stamp the words. And the words I have say, go to your happy place and stay there all day. 
And for this one, we're going to stamp it on the banner that came right from the dies, or this little label from the dies. And so, I, oh, maybe, I hope it fits. It's going to be close. Hopefully my head's not in the way. So it's going to be a, close, a tight one. Let's see. Oh, it fits. It does fit. All right, so then we have that. Now we're going to do... So see, that fits right on there. All right, next we're gonna color this in really quick. And I'm again using Petal Pink. So this is the same marker that we used on the flower. Do you guys see a theme? I like to use things uh, several ways for you so you don't have to, so if you do have to purchase something, you don't have to purchase like a ton, you know, if you want it. Like you can slowly build up your collection. At least that's what I really try to do. Um, at least when I do like these virtuals, like I try to stick with some same color schemes, um, the same embellishment, things like that. Okay, so we have our little pig colored in. And again, you can highlight and do all this uh, fun stuff with him. I'm just coloring him in so we can move along. Then I'm going to take the um, light old olive and color in these little petals, leaves, not petals, leaves, the leaf. And then I have um, daffod, I should, so saffron to do the little flower centers. And then um, I need crumb cake. So. I have a crumb cake here to do the little dirt down here. And then I gotta do the flowers. Since my piggy is pink, what color should my flowers be? Because the white just looks like it's unfinished. So I need to do them a color. And, all right. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Um, what color is in here? It looks like it might be like a Blackberry Bliss. It is Blackberry Bliss. So I think that's what I'm going to use. I think we have that. Yep. We have a light Blackberry Bliss marker. So I'm just going to color... Uh, the flower with that. Or you could just do some Wink of Stella on the white too. Alright, so our... Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Alright, I'll show you another version of this card too. I use some different paper with some brighter colors. Okay, there's that. I'll hold it up so you can see. Here's what it looks like so far. Now we're going to put our card together. Again, I'm going to give away a free stamp set. So share, comment, um, share to your personal page if you want to win this. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, designer paper square. And I like things always straight, but I'm going to put this one on an angle. It goes against everything I believe in. <laughs> but I'm doing this on purpose. Okay, then we're going to take our circle here, a little piggy, and we're going to add a few dimensionals. And we're going to stick this down. All right. And we're going to put this piggy. Uh, I, I want this to be... Oh, great, now it's sticking all over. This is why I don't do things at an angle because then it doesn't go the right way I want it to. We're just gonna go with it like this. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna take our little banner thing here, our label that we did, and I'm gonna put a dimensional on that and put this up at the top here. Then one of my favorite dies is the Give It a Whirl dies. It makes like really cool cards. Honestly, I've never made a card like that. I just use the hearts in there like all the time. 
there's a couple different size hearts. So I have a little heart here. It has a little stitching around it. We're going to put the heart down here. We're going to make a little bow with some linen thread. So you guys know I love this stuff. And we're going to put it on. Okay, so you make a bow. I'll probably just give you guys one piece of linen thread for both bows for your cards. So just, you know, don't make one giant bow and be like, I didn't have enough. I will give you probably enough to do one. But then I only have to cut it once myself, which will save us time in your make and take packets. All right, so we got a little bow. We're going to put the bow right in the middle of the heart like that. We can trim the end. Where did that go? There. Okay, and then we're going to come in with our champagne rhinestones and add a few of these to our card. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So pretty. All right. There is our third card. How cute is that? So cute. So I'm looking at some comments. It says, uh, so cute, love this card. I have a hard time putting things on Crooked too. I know, especially when you're trying to do it on purpose. It almost makes it more difficult. So here is the same card. This is a card you'll get in your Make and Take packet if you want to get the Make and Takes free and all that. But here's a card I made the same except for I did not use the banner. I just stamped right on there. And this paper is Sweet Sorbet and this is from the T Boutique Designer Series paper. And then the heart is in the Sweet Sorbet too. So same card, different colors and paper. Which one do you like? Although this is the one you'll get in the Make and Take kit because it matches the champagne rhinestones, right? It's all about the coordinating, coordination. Okay, so let me go over a few things. So here's our third card with the this birthday piggy. Okay, um, again, the dies for this set are through the month of September and while supplies last. So you can, and there's six bundles total. Okay, so there's, there's that. I went over this, um, if you missed it, the perfect partners. So that's where you can find the information on the cute little piggy set and some of the other great ones. Our second card is um, using the Cottage Rose. And again, this is a stamp set we're featuring for Card Club this month. And this is a Get Well card. So you'll make one of these. And then our first card was a gorgeous fall card using the Soft Seedlings and it is a card made out of vellum. How cool is that? And it's a thinking of you card. So again, if you wanna get all the paper cut and the supplies to make these, get your $35 order in using this code. You have until Monday to do it. If you want my free other thank you gift, the a full package of the champagne rhinestones, make sure your order is at least $50 and you'll get a free package of this as well. Now again, you need your own stamps and ink or you can substitute with something different. You could make this card with technically any animal or even a flower here. And so you could use any leaf with this one, but I obviously think you're gonna want the stamps I use, but you can totally substitute. Um, again, if your order goes over 150, then don't use the host code so you can get the Stampin' Rewards. And then I'll also send you a half a pack of vellum cardstock because I think you're really going to want to make more of these beautiful cards. And then we also use vellum on here. So I love adding a touch of vellum to soften up your cards and just make them more elegant. So that's what I have for you today. I hope that you love it. Again, if you, oh, if you wanna join the card club, you have until the 10th. And then the last thing to go over are, I have a few of these classes left over. Let me grab the one. One second. Okay. Um, these are being shipped out, but I have like 
uh, just very few left of these. So this is the um, special moments card class. You get the stamp set, the full pack of paper, a full rhinestone, and a half of a ribbon. All the card supplies to make five, five cards. And they're these really pretty all occasion cards. One, two, there's another one. This is like kind of a fun fold one. There's another card somewhere. Oh, it's a sympathy card. It's tucked down here. So um, you actually get this stamp set and everything in here. I think this is like $43. That includes shipping to you. It's an incredible deal and in value. The other one I have a few left is the um, driving by class. Again, you get this stamp set, a full pack of paper, a full ribbon, a wink of Stella, and rhinestones, and you make also five more cards. And this one I think is $45. And the cards are, for this one you only need black memento ink, and you just need some blends. One, two, three, four. There's another card somewhere. So they both have five cards total. But anyway, the if you order these, they're coming your way, and um, so they are coming towards you. Here's the other one. Um, and the tutorials will be emailed out this evening if you just got the tutorial only option. So that's my last thing I just want to go over. Again, tons and tons of stuff going on. Uh, all right. What stamp is it that you use for the leaf card? Okay, that is the soft seedling. Seedlings. Okay, this is a $20 stamp set. The item number is 159905. So let me know what your favorite is. Again, I'm so excited to give away a free stamp set. This you have, I will draw when the host code is done. Um, so you have until Monday night. So share, share, comment, and go over to YouTube once it's posted and leave me a comment over there too to get in to win this. I'll see you guys all later. Um, have a great rest of your week and I'll go through the comments in case I missed anything. Uh, so I will check back with you guys later. Have a great day. Bye. Bye everyone.